Hello, none here, and welcome back to Path of Exile The Awakening. This is Warbands. Last time we made it to the marketplace. Today we're going to continue where we left off. Our goal is to at least reach the Gemling Queen. And if there is still time, we'll see um, if we can actually make it to the docks afterwards. So, let's get started. There are market sewers here. Let's uh, dive in. Because if I am correct, then we should be able to find a platinum bust here. That's this one. Yeah, in the market sewers. So let's do that one. See how I started off there with a solid plan and then within one minute already deviated from it. Yes. I'm impulsive like that. On the other hand, ta-da, we found the stash. So let's uh, get back on track, shall we? Two of the strong box that is potentially interesting. Guarded by a stream of monsters. Sure. How about? Ooh, those things. Didn't really do a lot, loot wise that is. So, call me slightly disappointed. Okay, so there's no marketplace that goes here, so we just go back up and then proceed. With a bit of luck we might actually spawn somewhere on the northwestern side of the map so that there's an exit already here. made a small change to my loot filter uh, three linked socket items should no longer be dropping as of level 25 because we can now get a four link sockets or four socket items even so that should result in uh, a bit less visual noise but it also might appear like not a lot of stuff is dropping but I'm still kind of semi compulsively pressing alt every once in a while just to check if there's something I missed but basically something that my loot filter hit unintentionally. 20% quality, that's epic. Ignites you when activated, that's less than epic. Let's uh, get burning. Oh, well, they die. Cool. So everything here has 20% quality, that's actually worth picking up, even the white stuff. Because this is going to be either good to use or it's going to be good to sell to get some uh, uh, armor blacksmith whetstones or the armor version of these. Because you only need to basically sell two items to get one of the stones. So that, that's a, that was a very nice, very nice strong box. So this area has a waypoint and it has a exit to the side so let's uh, and there's also brine rod lookouts and we found the waypoint already that's uh, very convenient this is going way faster than I was anticipating so far. So, yes, roast them, roast them. And then let's uh, let's see. So this is a dead end, yep, okay, so let's cover the north side, I mean on the map we have to head north, so large chance is there is going to be a map on that side, 
or an exit on that side and this one is boxed off staircase upstairs that works and we found ribbons okay so we're in a good spot most of the time if you find ribbons you're getting close to the palace at least that's been my experience so far statues yep Something to do with purity, if I remember correctly. So there's only ribbons and statues here, and there's no actual living things inside of this area of after a Solaris Temple, which is a pretty stark contrast with the Lunaris Temple, where piety resides, because that's one big collection of just mutated people. And we have found brine rods raiders. Superior, that's only 5%, but it's 4 link sockets, so that's probably why I picked it up. And of course, I picked up too much stuff. So I'll uh, do a quick down stop and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back, and not in the place where you expected me. I had uh, the statue in my inventory, so I handed it in to Hargan, and I am getting a book of skill, which grants a skill point and a two passive respect points, which we will spend immediately. So, last time, we completed the Breath of Flames. So, that was our goal all along, to complete this entire wheel of skills. We made a, a small branch out to here to put a jewel in a socket. And we do have another jewel in the socket, but that means we have to go here. Question is, is there other 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 interesting things over here? Oh, well, that's holy fire, which extra chance to ignite. I think at this moment, let's have a look. Magma orbs. Ignition chance is ten percent. So if we go over here. Then we boost to 15% on top of the natural chance already. So then uh, that is a 30% boost, there's a 40% boost. And I think we already had some ignition. That is duration, it's not damage. That's of course, that's an internal thing. But I think we picked up some ignition. Burning damage is 15% bonus. Okay, so this is going to take us from 15 to 85% extra damage. That's pretty decent. And then there's some, some spell multiplier chance and just... So this is a potentially interesting corner. There's, there's of course a lot of fire damage on this wheel. That's also very interesting. And if I remember correctly, the Templar also has a here the arsonist this is also pretty sweet fire damage so this is 40 percent plus one percent life regen and the one percent life regen coupled with uh, the shield basically means that life is just going to slowly regenerate out of combat and i never actually have to drink a life potion again unless i'm in dire need of healing So, interesting choices. Is there anything this way? Yeah, there's some wand stuff, but I'm not actually attacking with the wand. Crit multiplier. Also, we're doing AoE damage, aren't we, with most of the skills. Is there something that, that focuses on AoE? Blast radius, for example. Um, this is a shield. So, extra radius, 12%. But here another 8% that makes 20% bigger uh, area effects plus some area damage. Uh, let's, uh, I think this might be a very, very nice one to grab for now. That's uh, another three future skill points that are going to be well spent. 
So let's uh, head back down here and kill some ribbits. And we have yet another strong box, which explodes. That's, uh, of course, now it ignites me. Okay, I'm done rerolling these things. Uh, okay, set me on fire. Poor, poor sorceress. I mean, which, yeah, set her on fire. Just a regular galvanic ribbon. Yeah, keeping an eye out for that. There's one room that has uh, dual bosses a lightning and a fire unique ribbon boss. There, you want to be aware that you're fighting them rather than just getting overwhelmed. This looks like it. Yeah, infernal seal and a galvanic seal. Yeah, a voltaic seal. No, sorry for that. Yeah, let's get out of range. Okay, so they bit the dust pretty quickly. It's the area level 27 and I'm level 29 and a half. Okay, so we're keeping ahead of the curve. That, that's, that's positive. That's very positive. This level is always a bit confusing. There's no clear structure to it, it's just rooms that are linked and you start recognizing some of the rooms like with, uh, with the unique uh, ribbon bosses in there for example. But the, the level's structure, it still eludes me for a bit. Convocation, let's gather all the minions, which I suppose is useful if you're playing a minion monster. Which I'm not. Bunch of ID scrolls, always useful. Especially for unique items or rare items. Because they tend to bring in a lot more uh, alteration or alchemy shards when you ID the, the unique, the, the rares. That way you just sell them unidentified. Uh, we found. Is there a. Yeah, the waypoint is, of course, on uh, Solaris 2 next to Lady Diala. So there's no point in looking for it on uh, level 1. That one is just a regular flame sentinel. Okay. It's gone now. Ah, uh, they. look particularly dashing. Okay, so. Brand rods, lightning damage. Okay. Some sort of lightning dash. Uh, sure. Probably picking up some items that are particularly worthless to sell. But for now, whatever. Oh, hey. Oh, that's just a statue. For a moment, I thought there was a pirate standing there. What's up with all the strong boxes today? This is way more than usual. Not complaining, mind you. But I'm just slightly surprised. So, four additional items, plus two additional rares, plus five chests a level. So that means it's going to be a level 33 chest. So that's four levels above me for equipment, and it costs Ice Nova. Okay, I'm willing to take that on top. But it's a jeweler strongbox, so that's rings, amulets, that kind of stuff. Those are pretty useful. In general, so let's grab all of them. And uh, let's move on. Okay. Oh, wait. Another strong box. <laughs> oh, there's no weird enchantments of the level going on. So it's just good luck, I suppose. I don't know. Guarded by a rogue exile. That's cool. Items have an additional socket, that's nice. Plus two levels, so that's level 30, that's very convenient. And that's a nice corpses, but there are none. Okay, cool. 
Ewing Graver. Okay, so they spiked their damage a little bit. Let's uh, Okay, that was it. And unique cobalt jewel, level 30. So let's uh, grab stuff, then I did it. Too much clutter. Too much clutter. Oh no. Well, let's uh, identify the jewel first. What is it? It's an army of bones. Oh man. Minions deal 9% increased damage. That's global for everything. Because it's in the passive tree, so that's very nice. Two extra uh, skeletons and 13% reduced minion duration. Okay, that's fair. Cadavers, Surgeon to the Umbra. Cadavers, I think, is one of the, the unique summoner bosses in, in the, the prison area, isn't it? So that's interesting. And usually they, the skeletons last for 30 seconds, so. 13% reduction, that's 3, that's 4 seconds, so they lost 26 rather than 30%, uh, so it's 30 seconds. That's still fine, especially if you get 2 extra mid shields. Okay, I'm, I'm slowly, slowly, slowly getting the suspicion this game is shouting at me that I need to be playing a summoner at some point in the future. So, that's very interesting. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be back in town, selling some items and stuff, uh, so see you soon. And we're back, this time actually where we left off. So there's a couple of interesting items that had potential, but... As, again, the strength granted by some items makes it hard to switch them out for something that doesn't constrain strength. So that's probably something as well to, to look for on the, on the skill tree. After getting this, this blast radius uh, cycle, it might actually be very, very useful to go for these two nodes here. To just get a, a nice boost to strength and dex. Let's just increase a, a casting speed with some mana regen. That, that's potentially interesting. That might actually just... Who cares? Resistance. Also, not a bad idea. No, but I was thinking about this so there's this small wheel of fire here so if i go from here past this grab these two nodes then move on grab this fire then i've got basically the next 10 levels or so covered so that's the the plan uh, very big are colossus flame sentinel being uh Bit hot headed. Yep, is this the boss fight? Yeah, this is the boss fight. Goddess of Purity. Let's uh, apply some flammability. And there she goes. I think I've now had all the guaranteed uniques that I know of in this area. So the, the two seals on level 1, the goddess of purity here on level 2. Okay, double check, there's nothing here. No, this was just a, uh, a corner with, with the battle. Nothing else. So let's cross this pool. Okay, did that here. Let's go here. Like so. They start hurting. I think I need to increase my defense a bit. So this is a superior flask that might at some point be useful. And this might be its, yeah, it's the waypoint, cool. So we have reached our uh, destination. Hello, Lady Diella. You may go. Then we need to go back to the battlefront to get the ribbon. So let's uh, do that as well. 
See if we can just close up the entire Lady Diala arc. Well, at least this part of the arc. Uh, those guys are blue. Let's uh, blast out of here. I no longer need fear. Destiny is seen to that. Okay, I was trying to basically do this, but it didn't let me. Probably was guy was the carrion crow. Hey! Cool. So this is the first of the divinity cards that we've seen so far. So these are all player made. And if you collect all of them, so in this case it's, it says 1 out of 4, so they stack up to 4. And then I think when you get the 4th one it just transforms or you have to hand it in at a, a vendor, I'm not quite sure yet, into whatever it says. So in this case it would transform into a blue armor that has a life bonus on it, if I am reading it correctly. So, if you want a blue life armor, you have to be in the battlefront to get them. Because they are basically area bound. Or at least er er different areas have different uh, loot drop tables specifically for the divination cards. Okay, but this was uh, a rather short stop. Oh, I think I need to actually pick a reward. So, amulets, 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 amulets. Strength might be okay, yes, I suppose, since that's one of the limitations. But you know, it adds damage to attackers, I don't care. Uh, more bonus strength, so this is plus 42 strength, that's a lot. But, and we are not losing a lot. I mean, a 30% mana regen, you know, that mana is not really moving a lot. So we're really, really, really fine with mana at the moment. Even if we take this off and we start shooting. You know, that, that's, that's why we do it. And now it actually slowly starts moving down. But this is, this is fine. We have virtually as much mana as we ever want. So switching it out for this. That, that's uh, okay. It's, it's too bad about the, the physical damage uh, mod. Because it just doesn't matter. And the plus two life per hit doesn't matter either. So this is... It would be better used by, say, a ranger or a melee character that actually did attacks. So I'm just going to stash this, it's, it's going to be useful at some point, but not right now. And yeah, uh, it's a sword, I don't really particularly care about swords either. So I think this is just going to be a, a slightly shorter episode than usual. I'll just uh, stash all the other things. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's just after 20 minutes, um, doing more, actually, that's great. Let's just go for the docks. Bonus content. Let's go for the docks. If today's luck has been is, is going to be consistent, then we might actually find it in a couple of minutes as well. Well, of course, now that I say it, I'm not going to find it at all. Well, these are the docks. That's positive so far. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, stick to the outside wall until we find a waypoint. Bunch of ghosties. Uh, the Revenant, that's a uh, guaranteed unique here. Flammable, which I suppose is very useful if you're doing a lot of fire damage. It works even on semi ghost dog thing somethings. So. And the supply container that's also positive that, that we can turn that into a tomatetic sulfide. So that's Yet another part completed. We have to go back to the Solaris Temple. So 
So then there's two things left in this area. One is the waypoint, and the other one is speaking with Captain Fairgraves to get the quest for the Chillers Plum. But if memory serves me correctly, that's an optional side quest that doesn't actually have anything useful attached to it in terms of skill points or, or other very useful character progression things. I think I'm just going to skip that quest. These dogs do so much damage. The flame breath. Blue flame breath. But still, it's it's flame breath. Okay, and something is aura here. Alright. Or refusing, don't see those every day. Which is why it's bright red. Uh, replenishing shrine, that's also very nice. Just to stay alive a bit longer. Okay, let's uh, move out. Just keep to the left hand side. Eventually we will find a waypoint. Just uh, keep cursing as well. That's. Uh, should help massively with DPS. Okay, we've got the fair grace. Cool. And then there's a waypoint up here. And it is. Nice. Okay. But actually, we should not go to town. We should go to the Solaris Temple to turn this tomatetic sulfide into tomatetic something else. Infernal talk. That's the thing. Believe me. So that allows us to blow up the blockage in the sewers and progress onwards. But that is going to be for next episode. So let's uh, head back to town. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's uh, I think yeah, it was about 25 minutes. So that uh, should be about as long as usual. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if so, hit the like button. Uh, if, uh, if you didn't like it and you still managed to make it all the way to the end, you are free, of course, to hit the dislike button. Uh, leave me a comment if you to, to let me know why you didn't like it. Uh, that's always useful to know. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. Okay, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>